Shalom, brothers and sisters. All praises to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. I'm Brother Jedaniah. Welcome to this particular discussion about Hashatan's church. And it's been hiding right in front of our faces. If we just take a moment to compare the differences between Yahweh's congregation and Roman Christianity as a whole, which includes Catholicism and all the thousands of denominations that is wrapped up in it, and which includes their G.O.D. and their J.C. And as I said before in the past, in past videos, this God character is God real. You can read about him in the book of Enoch, chapter 69. He's the God of war. He's the one that was in, in the garden with Adam and Eve. God real. And of course, this Jesus is um, their Messiah, which is the Antichrist Messiah to the true Messiah, Yahusha. Why is he Antichrist? Because he goes against everything that the Messiah set forth in his ministry so this here is the anti Christ religion over here which takes you away from the Heavenly Father which takes the law statutes commandments out out of your mind and heart that you may not do them and over here you have according to Hebrews chapter 8 and Jeremiah 31 and also in Ezekiel, that the Father will put his laws, he will put his spirit in you. he put his laws, statutes, and commandments in your minds and hearts that you may do them. That's the biggest difference between these two right here, brothers and sisters. And so we're just going to cover a few, few different things that's different. Stuff that's actually in the scriptures and stuff that's not in the scriptures that we used to follow in our family follows today like Sunday worship which is on the first day of the week where we still follow the Sabbath day which is on the seventh day of the week they have their Caucasian Roman Jesus we have our dark skin woolly haired Yahusha and you can find his description in the scriptures. This can't, this cannot be found. Even this one here, the change of Sabbath day to sun worship day. So you have some Jewish people that's claiming to be us and who are not, but do lie, what are the synagogue of Satan, who were brought into concentration camps by truck and train. Where is that in scriptures? But you could find the real Yahshualites being sold into slavery, captivity, on ships, Deuteronomy 28. You have your white Jewish Israelis and your black Yahshualites. And we are sounding off the, the alarm all over the world, even from Africa now and the Congo. They have woken up and they are sounding the alarm, the Bantu people, saying we are the real Yashualites. But the world is still latched on to their lie, their beliefs, because the Most High turned them over to a, to a reprobate mind, because they believe not the truth. They have been turned over to these lies and deceptions, and they will cling to them. And you also got a group of Japhetic peoples saying that they're the Hebrew Israelites up in Europe. So it gets even deeper. Now you got Easter on the third Sunday in April, which we were told to celebrate by the Messiah in the Bible, the Passover, the first month, the 14th day. You can't get past it, brothers and sisters. What's written in scriptures for what's not but it's in the tradition of Roman Christianity's church. And they will not let go 
of the heathen's ways. Number six is death on the cross on Friday. But the Messiah died on the tree in the middle of the week. He was raised on the first day of the week. And over here, raised on the first day of the week, I think that's the only thing they got right. He was in the grave two day, two nights and one day over here. But in the scriptures it says he was in the grave three days and three nights. And you can get that from him dying in the middle of the week and rising on Sunday morning. Y'all see that? If he died in the middle of the week, that's the only way. But you can't get it from Friday. Number nine, the law is not good to do. They they snarl their their fangs out of their mouths when you say, yes, the laws are still good to do. They will start to argue. You even cut down the Old Testament itself. But we who are awake and alive in Yahusha, we know the laws are still good to follow because they will put in our minds and hearts to do them by the Spirit of Yah who comes into us and helps and guides and leads us into all this truth that's in his book. While they are led away from all the truth that's in the book. Number 10, the UN brought the Israelis back to the land through some Balfour declaration. But in the scriptures it says Yahusha brings it, Yahshualites back to the land. What's going on right there, brothers and sisters? This is what's all written in scripture. All this ain't. Except for uh, the, uh, where is that? Right here. Number seven. Okay, number 11. The calendar begins in January, which is the god Janus, uh, who is the god of the present and past, which they celebrate every January, right after their pagan holiday, Christmas. And you have the calendar of the Most High beginning in spring when all life springs forth. Over here, it's dying. All life is dying. The, the, the leaves are falling off the trees. The flowers are not growing no more. Everything's going into hibernation over here. But over here, everything's coming back to life and coming out of hibernation. And, and all the flowers and the fruits and vegetables. And it's harvest time, y'all. This, this is the Most High's calendar. Number 12, celebrate man's pagan holidays. We celebrate the Father's feast days. Which there's way more feast days than these pagan holidays. This is all for the heathens and the Romans. And of course, right here 13, the covenant law, statutes, and commandments are done away with over here. With a false priesthood and evil ones, spirit put in you. Over here, the covenant law such commandments not done away with, but with changes in the priesthood. The, the priesthood is now the, the order of Melchizedek, and Yah's spirit is put in you by the Messiah. Y'all see this here? Be sure to share this here and download this chart from the website in the description box below. 14. They have thousands, thousands of denominations over here on Roman Christianity. Thousands of them all over the world. They, they got their different sects, their different names and different beliefs. It's a mass confusion over here. But over here is only one congregation. No confusion. It's just the church or the congregation of Yahuwah, which the high priest Yahusha is putting together. The Kodashim, the saints of the Most High, whether the twelve tribes or the grafted in, is all included into this one congregation with one mind, one heart, one belief, one spirit, and the Lord such commandments put on our minds and hearts to do them over here. Over here, it's all taken away from you. And they allow satanic church to come in you know ex-members they 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 come over here they never come over here all the ex-witches that they, they wake up to their witchhood and all this sorcery 
they leave their sorcery and Satanism and everything. They come over and tear their story over here. How they're saved by JC over here. Just, they don't even know that they right back where they started in Satan's church. They don't find this one here. And of course over here, they worship Jesus. We worship Yahuwah. All through the scriptures, Yahusha points us to worship Yahuwah. Even the angels say, worship Yahuwah. Oh, we worship Jesus. What about the Father? What about the Father? 16, the civilized culture versus the heavenly culture that was given to us from the throne room, y'all. We are part of a heavenly culture, not their civilized way that they have put in the earth, which leads to death and destruction, killing, still and destroying, and all manner of whoredoms, brothers and sisters. 17. Live in their own image. We live in the image of Yahuwah. Y'all see that? You are given a religion that tells you to do what thou wilt. Perform your own self-righteousness, your own version of love, your own image. You get a license to sin over here where we are called to do righteousness. They continue on in much sin. Allow statues of, they allow statues of wood and stone where we destroy image, idol images of wood and stone over here. Do not obey the Ten Commandments. We obey the Ten Commandments. They allow boyfriend and girlfriend relationships while we allow marriages only. They allow the LGBTQ plus without repentance. Well, we only allow the LGBTQ with repentance and conversion. That means they put all this nastiness away. But some of those transvestites can't do nothing because they did all that hormone replacement. They did all that um, snipping of their state. They cut off their stuff. And they would never find their way over here. But some of them can. Then you got those who killed uh, Christianity, killed many to convert to Christianity. Where the Most High allow, if you follow the law of such commandments of Yahweh through Yahusha, brothers and sisters. So you have this religion that went around the world killing just like the Islam did to convert people around the world to their religion. So y'all can see these differences right here. And you can add so much more to these list over here and over here. Uh, if you If you download this, go ahead. Download it, convert it over to whatever document um, reader that you have, and then start adding to these lists and show other people. So I'm making this document available to you on my website. So go there in the description box below, click on it, go to documents, and you'll see this here, particular document. Uh, Hashitan's church versus Yahweh's congregation or Yahweh's congregation versus Hashitan's church. Look at these differences, y'all. Look, look at it. This is all written right here. You can find all this in scripts. All of this stuff, you can't find the welcoming of LGBTQ without repentance what's going on brothers and sisters sound the alarm wake these people up hallelujah thank y'all for tuning in y'all continue to pray for me as i'm praying for y'all and bring this up discuss this with your peeps discuss this with those who refuse to convert discuss this even with awakened hebrews brothers and sisters so with that i'm gonna say shalom and may the most high open your eyes, your heart, and your soul. Stay Baruch.